Take Your Pills. Take Your Pills is a documentary recently released by Netflix. And I found it to be pretty informative, a little one-sided, not as good as Ozark, but overall probably worth a view. The premise of Take Your Pills is that there's been a recent explosion um, of prescription medications, basically stimulants, that are now being taken by people in college, people in the tech industry, because it's now this hyper-competitive world and people are looking for any advantage that they can have in order to keep up or to have an edge on their competition. So the question is, are stimulant medications overprescribed? And I think it's a little bit of a too simplistic of a question and the Netflix documentary really didn't answer that question, just raised more questions, which I thought was good. And it depends on the population. It depends on those who really benefit from it, those who don't benefit from it, and it depends on if you're part of the population that can be addicted to them. So are they overprescribed? Again, depends on who you're prescribing them for. If you look at people with ADHD, they really benefit from stimulants. If you look at people who have addiction problems, well, they're harmed by stimulants. They shouldn't be prescribed them. If you look at people who are seeking an edge, trying to be a little bit more motivated, a little bit more energetic, a little bit more focused, they just don't work. So those are your populations. Now, if you look at dopamine, dopamine is a regulatory um, neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitter is a chemical in your brain that helps your nerves communicate with each other. And what dopamine does, it helps you with motivation. It also is a pleasure molecule and it helps with motor activity and it helps with inattention or attention. Now they had this one guy on the documentary who said his Adderall felt like rocket fuel. So a person like this, you kind of worry that he might be someone who has a chemical addiction issue. Again, if you remember our addiction talk, people who have addiction problems have a chemically driven behavior. So when he takes Adderall, his brain probably lights up. It does make him motivated. It does give him pleasure. Because remember, dopamine is a pleasure molecule. Um, that's a person who probably shouldn't be taking Adderall or any type of stimulant. Um, if you're a eight-year-old kid and you're bouncing off the walls in your classroom and you're hitting the girl in front of you and you can't focus on the teacher, you might have ADHD. And if you have ADHD, the medication can help you sit. It can help your brain say, wait a second, maybe not a real good idea to hit the girl in front of you. Every time you do that, you tend to get in trouble. Okay, I won't do that. It can help you focus on the teacher and sit in your chair. So if you have ADHD, these medications can help. Um, so what if you're a junior at Yale? Should you take a stimulant? Will it give you an edge to help you focus better, to help you maintain more motivation, to help you stay up longer so you can do a little bit better and maybe turn that B plus into an A. Now they've done studies and, and the documentary mentions this one study where they looked at all types of criteria, all kinds of um, end results. And the only difference between the group that was given the sugar pill, the placebo versus the stimulant, the only result is that only difference is that the people who took the stimulants thought that they were performing better. They weren't performing better. They just thought they were performing better. So are you, if, if you are a junior at Yale, if you are a junior at IU, and you want to stay up later, be a little bit more focused, have a cup of coffee. It's cheaper, it's not against the law, and it works probably just as well. It doesn't help people who don't have ADHD. The documentary, did a good job of addressing those questions. It, I think it may be under-reported, under-looked um, at 
the devastating effects that people can have if they do have ADHD, how it can really have a tremendously negative impact on their life. They showed this one clip where um, they sh showed a commercial for a, a, a certain ADHD med and the gist of the, the clip was that it was fairly manipulative in that it showed that people with ADHD are twice as likely to get divorced as people without ADHD. That's people with ADHD that are untreated. And it might have been a little bit manipulative, but guess what? People who have ADHD that are untreated, they're twice as likely to get divorced. They are two times um, more likely to drop out of high school. On average, they make $2 less per hour. They are four times more likely to be involved in motor vehicle accidents. They are up to nine times more likely to end up in jail these are huge statistics. So the question, um, are stimulant medications overprescribed? Not if you have ADHD, they're not. And next time, what we'll do, we'll take a little bit more of an in-depth look at what is ADHD. Hope this was helpful. Talk to you next time.